My father and my grandfather were both plant people, horticultural people. So I've got a green thumb on both sides of my family. My job at Washington State University was to work with apples and to help the industry the best way I could. And I felt that we really needed to put the consumer first. And so that's why we decided to breed apples. What plant breeders do is they do what the honeybees do. They take pollen from one flower and put it on the stigma of another flower. It, it's all natural. We did not select or decide to have a Cosmic Crisp. It's not a GMO in, in, any, in any way, shape or form. Uh, we're just doing what nature does. If you make a cross, hybridize two varieties, and you get the seeds, which are the hybrids, and you grow the seeds, they'll be as different as your siblings are. We started with, with two parents, Honeycrisp and Enterprise, but we also crossed several dozen other varieties, all at the same time. Every year we planted six or 8,000 different seeds, each one giving us a completely unique plant. It's a long, drawn-out process of eliminating the poor ones and getting more and more data on the better ones. And that's the needle in the haystack. We're looking for the best one of those. And the quality that, that, that we found in Cosmic Crisp was quite different in that it was a complete variety. Years of good data on how well it stored. It had all the flavor things we needed and all the texture things we needed in one package. This is, this is a, a really, truly unique experience. Not just that I was involved in introducing an apple, that's unique enough, but you, releasing an apple that is phenomenal. 